In this video we're going to look at how to coordinate group appraisals in progress. The MyAgree Plus platform gives you a number of options to coordinate the progress of your group appraisal. One of the most useful features is the For Your Information column. This will tell you the status of various activities. So for example on the right hand side I can see I've got quite a lot of overdue appraisals which are shown in red. Um, I've also got my contribution to this test appraisal that we're working on just now, that's due tomorrow. Um, and we can see that appraisal in the latest activity in uh, my contributions to group appraisals. Down below we can see information about my coordinated group appraisals, so group, group appraisals that I am coordinating. And you can see that Douglas McTester has accepted my invitation to take part and also completed uh, his contribution to this test group. So that's good news because I think all that means is that I need to complete my contribution to my own group appraisal. So I'm just going to click that shortcut link uh, and I think I've entered all the data so it's just a matter of marking that as completed. There we are, that's done. So if I go back to the MyAgree Plus platform landing page, um, I, I will say that you can see my latest activity, I've completed that contribution. Uh, and it also has updated my coordinated group appraisals just to let me know that I myself have also completed that one. So let's have a look at this group appraisal now. And you can see the contributors are listed down below and it tells me the status of each contributor. I could have removed them or sent them a reminder if they hadn't completed it as well. But now we're ready to complete the group appraisal uh, and uh, output the data in a number of different ways. So let's look at how, we're how we can do that. First of all, we might want to view the data. And I can do this in, this, some, in the familiar format of the uh, Agree to Online Appraisal platform. I can click through the questions and I can see the ratings that each person has given uh, and any comments that they've, they've, they've provided are shown uh, as well. Uh, I can skip straight to the end and if I'm interested I can see the percentage domain totals um, that have been calculated for uh, my group appraisal. Uh, and if I'm happy with that um, I can now get back to finishing my group appraisal. So I'm going to mark that as complete now. And I have the opportunity to change my mind and I get a notification to say that it's been successfully completed. And similar to the other into the individual appraisals, we have a number of output options. We can output the ratings and comments separately. So if you just want to see the numbers, you can view them on a web page. And here we get the individual domain totals. And we also get a breakdown of the individual scores within each total. So that might be quite useful if you want to see the spread of appraisals. One thing to note here is that individual appraisers are anonymized. So the system creates an, a number when you send out an invitation to a contributor to take part and it uses that number to list their scores in the output formats. So contributors' contributions are always anonymous. We can also export that as a PDF document we can export it as a CSV file if we want to, to import the data into Excel uh, and we can share it as a social media contribution to Facebook, to Twitter or by email. So that completes the options that you have available as the coordinator of a group appraisal.